Well, hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In today's video, we're going to go over how to unlock and evolve Gengar. If you don't know, in Pokemon Legends Arceus, there's no more such thing. That's bad wording. <laughs> oh my god. In Pokemon Arceus, there's no more actual trade evolution, so you need to unlock a specific item to be able to evolve the previous trade-only evolutions. So Gengar is one of those, and it's one of my favorite Pokemon. So I'm going to show how exactly you're going to catch Hunter and Ghastly and evolve them into Gengar, and how to get the specific item. There's actually two different ways to be able to do this in Pokemon Legends Arceus. One of them is by getting these, like, merit points which you get for collecting satchels around the world. And when you collect enough of these merit points, you'll be able to actually get items this way. And there's tons of evolution items in here uh, for every type of Pokemon. But then you can find this linking cord. Now, the linking cord is a thousand merit points in here. But if you don't want to spend your merit points on these evolution items, you can get them in the world via quests. And there's one specific quest to unlock the linking cord. And inside of Jubilife Village, there is this villager here named Ward. Now, Ward has the quest to acquire a linking cord and, lo and behold, catch a Ghastly, which is, like, perfect. So, it's getting to know ghosts. I've already accepted this particular quest, so now we're gonna go through and actually show you where to catch Ghastly and higher level Haunters, so that way you can evolve them into a Gengar. There's a couple different locations to catch a Ghastly, and the first location is going to be in the Crimson Mirelands, just right next to the first Crimson Mirelands camp right here. But you're going to need to go here at nighttime, so if it's day when you arrive, just go ahead and go to sleep, and sleep until nightfall. Once it's nighttime, the Ghastlies will begin spawning literally right down the hill from the camp, which is pretty awesome. Now, obviously, if you haven't caught one before, go ahead and do that. But for this particular quest from Ward, what we need to do is actually study Ghastly. And we need to complete its entry in our Pokedex. So, we're currently at research level 7, and to complete an entry, it needs to be at level 10. So, we need to get three more points. So, we need to defeat it with a ghost move, and we need to scare it off with a scatter bang. So, we can continuously get points by doing this. And we should be able to catch one and get an extra point that way as well. Now, we do have scatter bangs. These can be crafted uh, at the crafting area. So if we throw one of those bad boys... There we go. There's a research point. And let me see if catching another one... We have these laden balls, which should allow us to maybe... Pick up one of these. Oh! Why? Why you do this to me? Kablam! Stupid Ghastlies. <gasps> it escaped. Boo! Alright, well, we'll kill it with a ghost move. This one's only level 18, so we'll use Hex. And we should one shot it. Perfect. Perfect. So we caught another Ghastly. And... Ooh, number caught at night, three out of five. Let's see what our research level. So we've got four total points left. So that's going to complete our research level, which means we can head back to Ward and get the linking cord. And then once we get the linking cord, I'll show you where to get the higher level haunters. And I believe there's an alpha haunter out there too. As an additional tip, when you are leveling up your research levels, uh, you don't actually have to do all of the tasks. And the tasks with the red arrows pointing up means you can do multiple of those to actually get more research points. So you could theoretically just run around and scare them with scatterbangs a whole bunch of times and get a bunch of your research tasks done. Well, now that we have completed our research on Ghastly, we can head back to Ward and get our item. And this linking cord is all we actually need to be able to evolve Haunter into Gengar. Which is pretty awesome. And I believe there is a quest for every single tradable Pokemon that used to be evolved through trading. Uh, to be able to get the item to evolve them now. So you can get all of the items for free. Now to be able to catch yourself a Haunter, you're going to want to go to the uh, Coronet Highlands. 
and you're going to want to go up to the Moonview Arena. And if you've already been up there, there is a fast travel point, and you're going to want to go there at night. Now, once you're up to the Moonview Arena, you're just going to walk back to the ruins over here. And unfortunately, Ghastly seems to like glitch out my game, but there should be a couple different haunters that spawn through this particular area. There's one that spawns right here that I already scared away. And then if you go down to the bottom of the ruins uh, down here, there's another spawn for Haunter that I also already scared away because I'm terrible. Uh, so you can either throw... Ooh, ooh, there it is. Maybe I can hit it with this feather ball. Come on, baby. When it pops out, if it pops out... Hey, caught a level 40 Haunter. <laughs> but a nice little trick is if you throw the feather ball from far away... And then get up to where it is. If it pops out, then you hit it with a laden ball and you have a higher chance of catching it too. So just a little bit of a trick. Now that we've got the linking cable and our haunter, all we need to do is go into our inventory and we can use it on our haunter, which will cause it to evolve. There he is, the beautiful Gengar. But yeah, I do hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you all in the next one.